All right, let's get started. Mm -hmm. All right, so since we're doing, whoops, since we're doing nonlinear equations, go ahead and draw your graph on your paper like I did. You can pause it if you want to get it on there. Okay, now I've got it up there. So um, they're wanting us to graph, and we just have two examples on this one, so not a problem at all. All right, the first one they're wanting us to do is y equals 6 divided by x. Now, what you're going to do when you see this kind of problem and they want you to graph it, what you're going to do is you're going to come up with an x, y chart, okay? I've told you about this previously um, in several lessons before. So, um, we're going to think of any number for x, okay? Now, remember from the previous lesson, I think 119, you cannot have a zero on the bottom denominator, right? So, we have to choose something other than zero right here. So, let's choose one. If x was one, then what is y? y is six over one, which is really six. So, when x is one, y is six, all right? What if x is two? Then y is what? Two divided by, or six divided by two, which is three. three. Okay, let's do another one. Um, could I put three here? Probably not, because three divided by two is not going to give us a good answer. So let's try four. Whoops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong swipe. Right here. Um, actually, we're not going to go to the four. Okay, so let's do, um, we could do three. Okay, so if I do a three where the x was, six divided by three is two. All right, let's do some negative numbers. If x was negative one, then six is, or then y is what? It's going to be six, okay? Not negative. Actually, it's going to be a negative six, you're right, okay? And then if x is negative two, then y is going to be negative three, right? And if x is negative three, then y is negative two. Okay, so let's graph some of these. One, remember this is, yeah. dear, I am, I'm sorry, I only got three hours of sleep last night, so I am not thinking clearly. There we go. X is this one, Y is this one. All right, so X is one, and Y is six, I'm going to put a dot there. X is two, Y is three. X is three, Y is two. Okay, let's do negatives. Negative 1, negative 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2. All right, look at here. What do you see? Nine linear equations. Nine linear, nine linear, not a line. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nonlinear. Okay, now that's one of them. Now let's try the next one. We're going to try a different kind of problem. Okay, so I'm going to erase these. Okay, and both of these are going to be nonlinear equations. Okay, here comes another one. This one says y equals x squared. Okay, so again, if I choose x as 1, 1 times 1 is 1. If I choose x is 2, 4. 4. If I choose x is 3, uh, 6. Uh, 3 times 3, I did that earlier, 9. Oh. Right? <laughs> All right, let's do some negative numbers. Now, this is where it gets crazy. Negative 1 um, squared, one. negative 1 times negative 1 would be positive 1. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4. And then negative 3 times negative 3 would be positive 9. Okay, so let's draw this. 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 9. Okay, and then negative 1, 1. Negative 2, 4, 
negative 3, 9. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add another one. What if I had a 0 right here? What is 0 times 0? Uh, zero. 0. So this is 0. 0, 0 is that. So guess what? It's like a V, kind of like a, like that. It's a U. Okay, yeah, kind of like a U. So it's not linear, it's not straight, okay? So um, that's um, how you would graph that one. And that is lesson 120. Woo!